hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I am going to teach you how we should install libraries package in a cluster okay so if you already know how we can install maybe you are not doing in the right way but uh, in this video I am going to tell you the right way the right approach right so you can see over here that hey we have this library option over here and I have installed already a pandas uh, uh, pandas library a pandas package right so if you want to install new one so you can click on this install new button and then you can choose a zip file uh, in from the workspace folder right or uh, you, you can you know you can have a jar file in the volumes then you can also save something in the file path and then you can you know use this pypi so it's a like pip command right so if you want to uh, install like abc package so you can write here abc package of the, the name of the package over here and then click on install button let's say i am going to install like numpy right so i can simply over here you know click on uh, this numpy and i can do it right so you can see here numpy is also uh, going to install in this uh, cluster right so uh, you know there are a lot of ways like we can install via maven cran and dbfs so dbfs is depreciated now so better to use volume instead of dbfs correct very good this is this is actually a one way now you can assume that hey we need to i mean see we are going to uh you know we are going to upgrade or we are we are going to move our pipelines jobs notebooks from lower environment to the uh, higher environment like production in that case will you go over there and you know uh, uh, run this i mean you know go to here install uh, the same libraries again manually again and again no right it's not gonna happen you you will face a lot of issues so what we can do many people you know even though in the past what i had done is that you know i written some pip in, pip install command you know pip install pandas numpy command i have written like that like this and uh, i you know let me just use this one it will take some time to uh, up it will some it will take some time to get up right so we can run this command so suppose if you are having some other uh, some other package also some other library also so you can do like this date let's say date is a date is the package name like abc is a package so you can write like this and if you want to install one only so you can write like this pip install the package name right but okay this is one way now there is a concept in databricks called init script okay so there are two type of init script okay so this is this databricks support two kind of init script cluster scoped and global so cluster scoped mean means what two two only one cluster and global means across the workspace but using cluster scope init script are recommended okay now cluster scoped run on every cluster configured with the script this is the recommended way to run an init script let we can you know you can click over here global run on all clusters in the workspace configured with single user access mode or no isolation shared access mode and other stuff are written over here and only workspace admin user can create global init script like this and whenever you change any type of init script you must restart all the cluster affected by the script and global init is script run before the cluster scope init script so what does it mean is that if we have global init script as well as the cluster scope init script so first global init script will run and then cluster scope init will run okay so all these just are, are definition so let me do a practical 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 is very important so what i can do is I can go over here and I could copy the same thing and remove all this stuff okay and what I can do is I can save it 
go to downloads um database lib dot sh nice so i ha i have added this comment also right now let me save it now what i'm going to do is that see i'm going to create a cluster scoped script so how we can do is go to compute and now you can assume that hey we are only one compute one cluster maybe in the real world we are having a lot of clusters over here so since this is my cluster this is specific for one uh, uh one project or one use case so i can open it and i can you know you can go to this libraries not libraries sorry go to configuration and advanced option you can see this in it script is coming but it is there is no script for now so i have to edit it click on edit button and then you can go to advanced again and you can add your things so from where you want to add i am saying hey i want to add from volumes volumes so i can use that oh i haven't uploaded in the volume sorry for that so first of all let me go to catalog and um, ding -ding -ding, this geek coders underscore analysis branch volumes and i can okay i can get volume over here let's say uh, data breaks files something like that okay create it and i can upload it also i'm not sure why it is not coming okay now it is coming so i can browse it and i can go to and choose this very good right now i'll go back to my compute whatever i had it right again click on edit and go to advance in a script choose here volumes so you know what is volume what type of data we store in volume semi structured and unstructured that's why i kept it in volumes not in the tables okay this is the files branch volumes not this i can use this database files and then i can use this file okay done i can confirm and start so this is the uh, cluster based cluster scoped script now maybe if i in future if i create another cluster then i can create you know i can maybe i can create another file another sh file and i can install all those dependent libraries uh, very good now what is we'll have to also understand what is global global uh, script okay so for that what i have to do and this is the course right uh, i have i have made this course and we already covered almost all the topics you can see delta lake batch versus streaming so this is pending i will be making videos by this week and then spa optimization tricks will take time and unity catalog is also covered over here utilities framework i will be working on it by this week or by 5th of august dlt is done database workflow cicd is done hugging face is done okay let's go back to here and i'm supposed to okay now you can see here right we have this user so we have to go to setting so if you are admin then only you can go to this uh, thing you can see uh, this is the compute option right since i am an admin of this workspace so i am able to go there you can see global inner script option right so i have to go over here and i can you know i can add something i can add it i can add some name uh, uh cluster start 
and then I can add like pip install numpy. I can add it. We can enable it also, disable it also, right? So all these things are the way, you know, ideally we should not write this, you know, a pip install in every notebook, correct? So better, uh, you know, better we can make a uh, sh files and uh, utilize it and you utilize cluster based scope or, or the global init script, right? I hope that I understood it and moving forward, I'm not sure whether I have covered about, you know, what is all purpose, job, computer, SQL, warehouse, vector search, pools, policies, but moving forward, I will be also covering this part. So stay tuned and please follow my course if you are beginner and if you want to learn some new stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.